discussing what was going on. And uh, let's hoping, well, well, let's find our cheetah. There's our cheetah. And uh, we've got our wildebeest up here. And that's where Scott is. Ooh, Scott. Scott is pretty much about there at the moment. So he's moving along the edge of the Tanzanian border. And his plan is to head up to this area and then make his way through Nyubayanane, the eight hills, and down back towards the crossings later. So hopefully he finds something interesting. He could find Egyptian goose pride. He could even find the Purungat pride when he gets down to the bottom. What is that? Is that a helicopter? I hear a helicopter. Yes, it's a helicopter out there somewhere. So it's very, very interesting. Oh, Dory has now asked me a, a difficult question. Where leopard rock or leopard gorges? Um, and somewhere about here, <laughs> off the map. So it is in the conservancies. Um, it's in Olala Rock. Olala Rock is double crossing. So it must be, um, looking at the topography, it'll be outside of this map. So it'll be up here somewhere. And that's where that is. Now, there are some gorges and stuff. We haven't had a chance to explore this far yet. Uh, but uh, also because signal might become an issue for, as soon as we f move further to the east of Kikarok. But there are some exquisite gorges on the Sand River and waterfalls in this area. There are even fairs waterfall over here. So uh, an interesting area. And I, I'm sure we will at a point be able to get into this area. But we haven't, as of yet, made it all the way up there. Brandon is wondering, are there wild dogs still in the Mara? There are. They're more commonly seen, again, outside of the park in this area up here, and then also um, in this area around these rocks and these gorges up here. Now, there are only two packs that I know of in, in, in the Mara itself, and they both uh, have had quite a tough time of it uh, with canine distemper and rabies, but uh, they have been inoculated, so hopefully that population is going to come up again. Wouldn't it be fantastic to see dogs streaking across the open plains? Now, we, having a look here, you can see this is the edge of the Mara itself. You can see, and it comes up here. Now, as we move this way, you can see there's very little, little, very few high hills uh, as we come all the way through here. We have uh, that area where Scott's going uh, shortly. Where's Scott? There's Scott. And we've got some Inselbergs over here. Now, Inselbergs, they're, they're really, really pretty. Actually, let's go. It's going to be much easier for me to explain on this map. What do you think? So looking at these high areas, you can see the topography here um, as it extends much higher. And you can see how that extends. And then the Mara is not flat by any means. It's, it's, it's undulating, very undulating hills. Um, it's quite actually a bit easier to see on the white here. And you can see the little crests and valleys, crests and valleys um, as they come through. There's very, very few high hills. Some of the only high hills we get here, especially on the triangle side, of course, outside of the, the escarpment we're on is this ridge of hills. That, that's where Scotty is at the moment, around here. And uh, as it runs like this, this is, there's eight sort of high points on here. That's why it's got the name Nyumba Nine, which means eight. And then if we go around to around the crossings here, there's another little ridge, a little rocky outcrop that sticks out. Now, the rest of this area uh, is not flat, 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 but it is quite undulating. You don't have those pinnacles. So it is quite interesting. <laughs> and uh, it seems like Jamie's caught up with the topi that forgot to put on pants this morning. <laughs> 